I am the famous American. Here is the epiphany for today. Genetic markers do not necessarily equate ethnicity. So let's break this down in this short little video. So I've been very vocal about how my mother has Jewish DNA, Sephardic Jewish to be exact, even though half of her lineage comes from Italy and not even that long ago, the DNA test confirms four and a half percent Italian and over 14% uh, percent West Asian, which is basically like, as we would say, Middle Eastern or Muslim, etc. And then also 15.2% Sephardic Jewish. Does that mean that I'm Jewish? Here's where I'm at with it. The answer is no. I simply have genetic markers that are connected to Sephardic Jewish people. So DNA wise, I have some of that DNA. That doesn't mean that I'm, I'm Jewish. Uh, ultimately, obviously we know anyone can convert to Judaism if they choose to do so. Or you can actually have all of the culture and all of the correct DNA and yet still you may not be a practicing, practicing Jewish person of the Jewish faith. That means in theory you're not Jewish. But specifically, I think what we often do is conflate. If someone has genetic markers for something, that automatically means that they're part of that race or that ethnicity, whatever word we choose to use there. So am I Jewish just because I have some of the genetic markers? No. Am I Italian because of that? I mean, in theory on paper, I'm a quarter Italian. But again, if we look at the genetic markers, I'm what, about 2%. I'm a lot more of other things than I am 2%. So this is a reminder that we often conflate a genetic marker versus an ethnicity or even a race. We'll interchange those words. And I think here in American culture, we're more likely to do that because we don't really have our own real race or ethnicity here other than the Native Americans, which that was a long time ago. So we adopt these superficial concepts of what our ethnicity or background is, even if it's largely irrelevant. Your views, your beliefs, your opinion matter.